We got, we got some tea. Oh. Oolong, in fact. Mm. They call this a monkey-picked oolong, which does not mean it was literally picked by monkeys. Instead, uh, it means, I think, uh, it's the oolong leaves, it's the tea leaves from the, the top of the plant that, uh, you know, if a monkey were to go up and climb up and pick leaves, it apparently would pick these because they're the best leaves or something. Anyway, it's pretty good. Ah, we made it to game six. Oh, such trials and tribulations. And uh, game six, my US Open in 2018. Uh, <clears throat> the record at this point for me, after that half point loss, uh, that man was such a painful loss because, again, AGA pass stones. I had to pass him two stones um, to give him the win based on how you know the co threats worked out with that half point co. Uh, still, still reeling from it. Uh, <clears throat> put me to two or three, which is pretty disappointing. Uh, but game six, uh, I'm facing a Chinese player, Junyan Zhang, who, uh, and I'm taking black again. And, you know, I feel like I, I have a pretty good game. I go full Takamiya once, you know, once again. Uh, you guys saw that really come into life game five and, and hints of it in other earlier games, but it's happening. It's going to happen. I am no longer playing the four space extensions that corrupted the start of my tournament. Uh, so here, let's just uh, take a look at the game. And I am black, like I said. And once again, I play Orthodox, which I played the last time I was black, and I think it was game four. We can turn on the robot at this point and show you that, yes, the robot wants to invade 3-3. Yes, I know the robot wants to invade 3-3. Uh, but my opponent plays very traditionally, like, like very traditionally, uh, just splits the side. And if you turn... Robot back on, you can kind of see. It doesn't really mind it. It's a 2% loss according to it. Um, do be very wary of these percentages in the opening. Um, there's actually one of the variations I was looking at in this game where it said it was like a 46 or 7% move or something for black. If you actually play it out, it goes way down, like the variation as, as you play out each subsequent move. Um, the computer reanalyzes it and figures, oh no, that original move was only like 30% or less than that. Um, I'll show you where, that, where that's coming up. We just have to be very, very careful of these these uh, split second analyses. Um, and again, the opening, the computer, the robot, you know, it doesn't know everything. Uh, so anyway, I get to play one of my favorite sort of Huseki patterns, which goes like this, and my opponent defends again, sort of traditionally. And so then I approach this stone, and then he defends traditionally, and then I get to build a nice framework across the bottom. So this is uh, feels very nice, right? Feels very nice for black. Um, even though the bottom is thin, uh, you've got potential in the corner, you've got potential just at the bottom right, you've got a little bit of potential at the bottom left, you can still invade the corner, you already have a little bit of cash in the top right. Um, so, I don't know, as a human, I, I feel like this is this is good for black, right? He, uh, you know, speaking as a human. Of course, the robot still likes white, it still likes that big comey. Uh, so that's where we're at. Alright, so this is the game. I'm going to characterize this game by... Uh, <clears throat> my opponent invades me three times, and I think the first 44 moves or so, and it's all very peaceful. Like, like, can you imagine a game that you get invaded three times and not really have fighting? Like, that's that's pretty remarkable, in fact, I think. So, uh, yeah, this is the first of his three invasions, and this one's too premature. Right? If we look at the robot, like, robot's still like, hey, you should take a big point. Um, it, uh, it, again, not a huge loss. Um, still a valid move, but there's bigger points. I, I would actually agree with the robot here. Um, I think the point's very big. Um, although as black, I mean, it depends on how you feel in this position as white. If you, if you don't mind invading, then I think you can invade this as well. Probably start about here. What does the robot say? Robot wants to kick first and then, and then play here, of course. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is a nice approach when you're basically deep inside your opponent's money, if you guys have never seen this move before. Um, there's a couple ways it can go, but uh, here, let's just play what the robot wants. Ooh, that's an interesting move. This is very interesting. All right, so white just sort of escapes in the robot variation. Um, a little bit more normal, like a little more human of a variation would look something like this. Um, instead of going here first, white would play here, uh, and then maybe ask in the corner. Um, and if black responds strongly, that leaves a lot of bad Aji later on. 
um, with this cut or with this peep. <laughs> um, so you can ask, and so normally your opponent won't give you that, which means you get more free stuff. And so you get all these really nice exchanges for white, and then you come back and try to live. Um, often, uh, if your opponent plays something like this, you start to make a base this way. And it's very awkward looking, but you can get out and or make eyes. So uh, that's kind of an expected variation. Uh, but my opponent invades directly, which I think is a choice. Um, I thought it was too prematurely, but I think that's just a style, right? It's just like these very peaceful invasions. That's that's why I'm playing today. I'm playing peaceful invasion. And if there's anything you know about uh, your opponent invading you, um, that means you're going to get some compensation. And usually, if it's peaceful, you're going to take that compensation in uh, in payment in thickness. So, well, come check it out. Come follow along. So I play on top. Uh, at this point, yeah, actually, computer's like, hey, you should just Tanuki. Um, but he plays the best local move. And here, this is really interesting because uh, this move is actually bad. Like, I think, I think, I think it's, I think it's the poorer choice between these two. These are the two traditional responses. Usually, you need this. You need to have the ladders um, to get a good result as, for this move as black. Um, and even then, it's, it's still potentially playable for white. Um, I kind of just want to watch and see if it ever figures that out. I think. I think and maybe maybe this is a blind spot in Lizzie Zero. Maybe you know people just know some things. You know, I'm trying to get more in the center of the camera while I'm waiting. Um, but yeah, it's it's just these very ladder dependent variations. It might be a little bit uh, privy to making mistakes. You can already see it's sort of evened out the percentage chance, and it's actually gone a little bit higher here. It's actually even higher over here. But just not investigating that move. Which is crazy. Actually, I want to look at this now. Because what? I would never have thought to play this extension. This is what it thinks it will happen. Okay. White gets thickness there. Black gets a solid group over there. I eh, kind of like white. This was, this was Black's biggest potential and did not really get any compensation. Although, I guess the game variation really isn't that much better. All right, let's go back to here. Did you figure out... Oh, it just switched. Look at that. It just, yep, figured out that this one is better. Interesting. All right, here, let's... I'll show you the game first, and then maybe we can go back and look at some of the variations where uh, Black takes this Atari. Um, <clears throat> many of you have been in this situation before, right? You have a three-space, one-line-off uh, extension. Your opponent invades right in the middle, and you jump on top. Very common, very common shape for invading. Usually the proper move is to wedge if white has a ladder. If white has no ladders, usually the proper move is to just crawl. Um, almost always the proper move is not this. <laughs> and uh, you can kind of see why um, that the order of the, these moves just isn't good enough. And black can kill these two stones and then still take the bottom right. Um, so this Hane, when you're, when you're attached like this, usually you have to wedge. Okay, going back to here, still okay. Still decided this is the best. So here's what the game looks like. And actually, at this point, I play I play the normal move, which is here. This is this is a move we actually saw a very similar move like this in game five, where the opponent or not the opponent, the robot wanted to to do this very like unconnected knight's move jump, um, which I think is actually kind of nice looking. Like it's it almost forces white to end in gote. It does let white out. Um, but white's going to get out anyway in my variation, too, so I can't really say that's a bad thing about this variation. Um, yeah, I, 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 this, this seems nice. You get an extra move in the corner, and you still have some thickness. Uh, granted, thickness does have a defect, but uh, my thickness has a defect, too, because I'm going to play there. Uh, white's going to jump. I'm going to fix, which, again, the robot says, ah, it's not even worth fixing. Just go play a bigger move. 4% uh, loss. And my opponent plays this move just to prevent Black from um, harassing this group, because this group can be harassed. Although it's hard to do it immediately, um, but Black really needs a move here uh, to do it. And even then, White would still have time to respond. Um, it's, just, it's just a matter of, you know, how much free stuff you want to give up. Alright, so this is what the game looks like. If we go back to here... Oh, look at... Uh, I went and thought this Atari was better for a second. Uh, if we go here, here's sort of the normal variation. I'm going to take off the percentages for a second. Uh, and there's like this co-shape here. 
Um, black can fill the coat, although it's seem, usually seen as being very slow. Um, and white will get this ladder. And uh, sometimes white will take, depending on the ladder, sometimes white will um, protect here. Um, and it's very similar to the other variation where white gets some thickness here, and black gets sort of a safe, strong group. So again, not very attractive for black. Uh, if black doesn't uh, fill the co, maybe black can take a big point, uh, but then white's probably going to try to harass this and, and force this co to become a real issue. Um, maybe in a, if <laughs> maybe even to the point where white will connect here and do this sort of running fight, but it seems unlikely. So anyway, there is there is that danger. Um, it's okay. <laughs> uh, it's okay. All right. So in this variation, though, like I think I think both players are pretty unsatisfied, um, especially after White plays here. I don't think White needs to play another move. I think the big move is bigger. Um, the robot does think this is the proper way to continue play here, which eh, seems okay. Seems very similar, in fact. Uh, very, very similar. It just protects, it actually protects the points a little bit more um, because one of the problems here uh, is that black can kind of undercut you with these second line moves. So it just, it just says, boom, I'm making eyes, I'm living, there are my points. A little bit more directly. And since black is more or less strong in the center, black can throw in these second line submarine kind of moves. So that makes sense. Um, but yeah, to here I think both players are kind of unsatisfied. Like, black's not really sure what to do with this thickness yet. Um, white ended in Gote, so it doesn't get to keep going. This white group isn't very many points. Uh, it also feels like it's a little bit far away from the corner to really put pressure on the corner. And this group's kind of away from the corner, so to put pressure on the corner. <clears throat> so these two black stones are strangely efficient. Like, like it's completely open, like white can go in there wherever, whenever he wants to, but he can't really attack it because the friends are just, you know, like one space too far away in each direction. Um, which is pretty strange. Like that's that's is is very funny. Like it's 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 like black doesn't want to continue here and white doesn't want to continue here, and meanwhile no one knows who gets this, even though it looks like it's a giant black corner. It's just kind of funny looking. Anyway, uh, I do indeed take the biggest point. Oh, I want to do want to take off. No, okay, good. Um, the top left corner of the board. Uh, if we try to do like a little bit of uh, counting, again we really can't count much over here. Maybe five points for black just given the fact that white has two surrounding groups. Um, 10 points for black over here. Maybe five points here is what we can award for this thickness. So that's about 20 points for black. Uh, white has a good eight here. Maybe a five here. 13, these two stones kind of cancel. Um, about eight here. <laughs> so about 20. <laughs> so, you know, no one is trying to build anything really big. Um, game seems pretty fair. And the robot actually agrees. Well, it's running 36,000 on this peep. It really wants to peep here. Um, which I think would be pretty good. I think that's a pretty good move. After this peep, yeah, come back and play that. Okay. Uh, in the game, white plays the Kosumi, which I think is very similar. It's, a, it's like less than a percent, according to the robot. Uh, and the robot, this is the spacing here is very interesting. The robot wants to be very solid. I was perfectly happy to take this point. Um, this, the, both of them are just psyche, like they're both options. This one, what tends to happen is that your opponent will over concentrate you. Um, this tends, to, let's just play that, and actually maybe there. Like this black group looks a little bit inefficient. Um, white got. Pretty good potential on both sides, pretty good profit. And the problem with the move my play, of course, it, it leaves an invasion. Um, so white can just invade you now. <laughs> and, but black has ways to deal with the invasion, so it's not that big of a deal. And the fact that I sort of control the center right now, right, I have this, this strong central influence, uh, means that I'm going to invite invasions, right? Like, I'm fine. All right, white puts uh, pressure on my group this way. And what's interesting here is that the robot wants me to approach this side, which I do, but a line off. Uh, pretty similar. Pretty similar. Uh, again, I'm just waiting for an invasion. I'm like, if you invade, I can deal with it. It's fine. Um, yeah, and this is, this is something that the robots do not... That I pointed out to people before, I pointed out on this channel before. 
robots don't really care about making five space extensions. Right, five space, if five space extensions are the human move, um, because it's too hard for white to get a base in. We, uh, traditionally, we've thought it's been too hard for white to get a base, you know, in this region. Right, you can make a one space base comfortably. One space base does not make two eyes. Uh, so we have to um, think twice before we invade in a five space extension. The the six space extension, if white can play a forcing move against this stone then white can make a two-space base. And we like two-space bases. They're a little more efficient. They're a little bit safer, a little more flexible. So, you know, for I don't know how long, hundreds of years perhaps, humans have favored these five-space extensions. But because the computer likes to attach so often when it invades, right? So it plays here, we invade, if we jump up, it's not going to play this move, it's going to play this move. Um, it it invades five space extensions like it was a four space extension, right? It just it just carries on. Um, so again, that played the very human move, but if we go back to the analysis, you can see that, oh yeah, the robot does, you know, like it's, it's like, okay, the five space extension, that's okay. But the six space extension, yeah, you might as well just play that because you can invade it anyway, so you might as well play six. Uh, and this actually, um, I actually have this very, very strong, one of my early Go memories when I was still very much a Q player uh, I was playing, I was learning Go at the University of Texas Go Club. Um, there was a pretty strong player there, Chinese 3 on, who uh, he, he would play handicap games against us because we were all way worse than he was. Uh, he was so strong, he was 3 on. Um, anyway, uh, he was playing a handicap game, and uh, I think I asked him like after the game, like, oh, why did you extend this far? Um, and he, and it, I think it was a six-space extension. And he's, and, and he's telling me something to the effect of, like, well, I know I'm supposed to play five space extension, but it's handicapped, so I have to be greedy. And that moment just kind of stuck with me, right? Like, that kind of, that kind of like, like made me go, ah, all right. So six space is asking for a little bit too much. Um, but that's how the robots play, right? That's how the robots want to do it. So, I don't know. It's, this is kind of, kind of cool how things go in circles, you know, and my ancient knowledge of, from a Chinese 3 dom player, you know, uh, 10 years ago. Uh, more than 10 years ago, <laughs> comes back in the form of robots. Anyway. Uh, sorry. So anyway, after this and this... Is this the game? This is not the game. What's going on here? I have to go back to the game. Thank you. All right, back on track. Uh, what's interesting is it next wants the uh, white player to actually play in the bottom right. Um, again, neither of us knew what to do here. <laughs> For the longest time, or like knew how valuable it was. It's because the black stones are really thin and the white stones are a little bit far away. Like There's just too much bubble. There's just too much space um, around everything, so it's, uh, it makes it very difficult for humans. Uh, the computer's pretty much decided that it should do this, though. And, oh man, I'm not even sure if I'd want to give up the corner just like this. Uh, maybe? Oh man. White sort of jumps out. Oh, peep at the shape. What? What? This is so robot-y. Yeah, throw in. So black gets a few extra points on each side and lets white overtake the whole corner. I guess black also has this group. All right, weird. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess it's actually that's actually pretty similar to white just invading here. Um, pretty similar, maybe better shape for black. Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back. So that's what the computer wants. Uh, my opponent kicks here, which is a move, although usually you kick, you're more excited to kick here when there's only a two space extension, just to affect that spacing. White, of course, or not white, black, of course, stands. And white invades for the second time this game, just in between these, you know, this little stone and this iron pillar. Uh, I push once, it turns out I don't need this move. Um, I showed this game to a pro uh, after the game and uh, he kind of criticized this movie, so this is not needed. Just play here directly if you're going to do this. Um, I kind of thought it was during the game. Um, but, oh man, the robot wants to play over here. And then come back and do that. Okay. Yeah, and if, if uh, robot plays this way, robot can get a bunch of thickness on the outside. Um, but, you know, black's pretty safe, so fair. Any other choices? Let's not make that exchange. Let's just do this. 
Yeah, it just sort of recommends white just taking thickness. Oh, black maybe can play there. Eh. All right. Anyway, that's that's one variation. That's that's kind of the reason why black isn't really scared of this. Is um, let's let's try a variation where white goes berserk. Oh, I want uh, white this stone to capture this stone. White connects. Uh, come back, come back. Yeah, white still captures this stone, builds a lot of thickness. So the idea, you know, this this spacing is is a little bit awkward for white to invade directly and expect a really good result. Um, like, like you can't, or you can't get a good result, you need a fair result. Robot doesn't really mind, less than 2%. Uh, it's like, fine. <laughs> so anyway, I make this exchange, totally not needed. I make this exchange, that's a bad exchange. Um, because there are versions, variations here where, um, black doesn't, black wants to play this move to both threaten this and threaten something bigger in the corner. So when I make this Hane, this is just kind of a greedy, stupid Hane. Um, oops, let's go back to the game. Yep, here, here, and then I make this Hane. I thought it was useful, but it's it's not. It's it's not useful. Uh, and I play here. It's it likes jumping better, which I'm a little bit nervous with this stone uh, for this thing to jump out. It's like, oh, if it jumps out, you gotta do this all over again. When do I cover? <laughs> do I ever come back and cover? I do not. I just keep playing the outside. All right. So I just sort of de facto say, I have a connection, nor can eat those stones. All right. I play there, again, a little bit uh, conservative, but, you know, again, it eats the stone. White takes this point, which is his right, and I fix there to basically settle. So this white stone has Aji, but it's dead. I can't do anything right now at this moment, um, but, you know, later on, maybe there's some forcing moves here. So Black's group is safe. Uh, has it, it does help the outside a little bit. White also got this move, though, so that it's a big help to the outside, and this stone is low. Um, uh, so, you know, it seems fair. This is a pretty sizable piece of territory. Um, like, I don't feel like I'm doing terribly, but it definitely feels like White has a lot more cash than he did, you know, just not very long ago. So we'll keep playing, and white invades for the third time. I think this is move... Uh, oh, this is move 40, not even 44. I think I said white invades three times, uh, right, in the first 40 moves, 44 moves. Yeah, move 40, he invades a third time, right, in between this black position. Uh, and I jump up, which I think is pretty reasonable. It says this is the biggest move, though. That's all right. Uh, and he certainly plays the robot move, right? Again, this is how you invade a five-space extension now, right? You jump in, and then you attach. And you usually want to attach to the stronger side of your opponent. So uh, your forcing move doesn't give up that much. It's already strong. Uh, he jumps here, which I think is kind of, kind of wrong. Um, hmm. Robot wants to play this, though. How do I feel here? I don't know how I feel here. Whoops. Ah. Eh, okay. All right. Anyway, I think it's, I think this is a choice. Um, I I what I was expecting in game was this type of thing, um, and then either pushing up or jump, making making this Hane exchange is quite big, because um, White can even connect here and uh, make a base this way. That's kind of. A difficult exchange to make, yeah, because the corner is going to get punished. Mm. Yeah, so when I stand, I expected this. He does not do it. He plays here. Um, I play this move, which is probably one of my favorite moves this game, um, because this starts to build something. It helps the two weakest stones I have, and it puts pressure on the group. It does a lot of little things. Um, it even extends from this thickness, right, so you can see how it works with the, with the center. Um, does a lot of nice little subtle things. So the robot kind of spits on my move a little bit. It's like, yeah, you should just go and take away the base more directly. But I am embracing my center, my inner Takamiya, right? We just, we're going to play for the center. It's the biggest part of the board. It's what I want. And so this is the direction I choose. And I felt, I felt good doing this because it keeps my groups pretty safe, right? There's a lot of safety in the center as well. Uh, now, white plays this move. 
And this is this is terrible. White should definitely come back and play this now. And now white has a pretty reasonable looking base. Um, black can do some things to try to split, but <clears throat> you know white can live here, white can live here, white can live here, white can make some profit here and here. And it's the onus is really on black to find enough points because again this is so open, this is so small, this has now been reduced. Where are black's points? Um, so you can see that the robot clearly likes uh, white, but. Let's see what happens here. Let's go back uh, when white plays this move. And so the idea of this move is white's either going to get a nicer base or link up to this uh, top left. And <laughs> of course the robot's like, yeah, don't even play it. Just come back here and take take big points. Um, I have other ideas though, and I, I, I spent a while reading out the variations um, because my this move doesn't really surprise him, but my next move does, and it really shouldn't. I actually want to see if it swaps because Right now, it's not playing my move. It wants to play this move. But I think this is the better, stronger move. Nope, it's liking that one more and more. You're not going to play my move, robot. Come on, robot. All right, I'm going to drink some tea. Let's see if this robot decides to embrace my move. It does not. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's see what happens when I play the robot move. Um, if white pushes, oh, let's have white uh, press there. Uh, I mean, this this is actually fine. Black is uh, strong and cuts, but white settles very easily. Um, but black gets sente, so that's that's pretty good. Right, so maybe that's good enough. I play the toughest way possible, and I play here. And after the game, Jenyun said to me that this move rattled him. He was like, oh, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> and uh, he wasn't. He wasn't. So here, let's, let's watch what happens. Uh, he, he tries to do a lot of things. Um, he wants to keep the pressure on these two stones, so he, he extends here um, to keep the liberties up. Of course, I get to Hane around. Here, I'm actually going to take the robot off just because I think it's a nicer sequence to look at. Uh, he extends here, I come up, he makes a nice shape, which again, you know, threatens uh, these two stones, as well as um, to connect back to this stone. I defend, threatening these two stones. Uh, he fixes, um, but I play here. Now all these stones are connected. Um, so these four stones are completely disconnected from everything right now. Uh, he works to reconnect to this stone, but it doesn't work. And uh, this is all just now big profit in the top right, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's about 21, 22 points, I think. Um, you can see here, let's put the, let's, let's go back and watch the robot's graph here. Just watch it go. Yeah, this is climbing. Uh, to the point where like after black gets all this profit, and white has a floating weak group. And again, black is the one who owns the middle, right? Look at all these low stones. Low, 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 low. White can't really have a floating group in the middle, like white needs to keep defending it. Uh, he makes these exchanges first. They're not really useful. Um, but here we go, there's the defending move. Uh, we're now at a 93% win percentage for black. Because before, black didn't really have much profit. And now he's got actually pretty nice potential over here to gain 10 to 20 points. Um, still have the bottom right-hand corner as potential. Um, and certainly the 20 points here um, cancels out you know, any points white has in the top left, which is white's biggest profit center thus far. So uh, this, this, is, this felt like a very good game for me, like not just in terms of my prospect for winning at this point, uh, but it also fit my style really well, right? Where, um, my opponent's points were all pretty finite, like it's really hard to imagine where white is going to find extra points on this board. And, you know, black has all these central on high stones that might still be able to do something. So at this point, I take what I thought was the biggest point on the board, which is this invasion. Um, Robot thinks this corner is bigger, but again, the spacing is so awkward here. I uh, didn't know what to do. Um, and this... And this, actually, this move, um, I've been preparing for a while. And, and even though, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, the, one of the reasons why, remember I said this move was like my most proud move of the whole game? Um, the other reason why I, th I thought it was so proud is because I'm trying to set up a ladder over here in this corner, where this is the ladder breaker. 
And so I was reading all this out when I played this. And, and that's, that's, that was the other real meaning of this move, not just to unite everything in the middle, but also to be a ladder breaker that I kind of hallucinated. The ladder doesn't quite work the way I thought it did. Um, but it, it gets, it gets, it, it's a pretty sweet little sequence, I think, um, that will come up here. Anyway, so let's go back here. White defends now. Good. And I take the bigger point. And uh, I, I rattle my opponent again. After, after the game, he's like, I had, I had no idea you were going to play this move, and I had no idea you were going to play the next move I play, which is not to play this Hane. This is the expected move, right? He's expecting something like this. This would be normal. And then he can take Sente and maybe come over here. Um, white gets a smaller profit here. Black, you know, eats the corner, but it's small. Um, but just limits white. And, you know, this game is still good for black. Like, this is fine. But no, I wanted more. So I play this move. And normally, uh, white plays here. This just goes to Ko, or at least it should go to Ko. Although, um, here, here's the Ko. Let me show you the Ko first. This is this is what's expected, Ko. Uh, and so if you don't if you don't know this, look at this shape. Uh, it's a four four stone and a six three stone. When black invades this, the default variation is Ko, and it's a really big Ko, like for the whole corner and more. Um, so you just have to know that. That's that's. That's a good heuristic. This this shape happens frequently enough that, especially since robots really like the shape, um, but this with a stone here makes co. Um, whoops! But I, whoops! Uh, sorry, not with this with a stone. This shape here. Sorry, black has to extend this way and white plays here. This is how you get the co. Uh, but I play this, but I don't play the co. And actually, lo and behold, look at this. I get I get mad respect from the robot here. Because the robot doesn't want to play the code. The robot likes my move here. Uh, and do, 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 or maybe actually, maybe this is just alive without. Um, I guess it's just alive. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. If black doesn't, if black, it's when black doesn't have a stone over here, this goes to co. <laughs> if black has a stone here, it can just live. Um, maybe. Uh, well. Anyway. Uh, so wow, look at this, look at this. Oh, I play this move first, yeah, because I, cause I, cause I, I was setting up, this is the ladder I'm trying to set up, right? I'm like, look, I have the ladder, da 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 da, right? You can go up right here and just go like, look at that stone, so much, so beautifully placed, right? But the problem is, white doesn't need to play the ladder here on this cut. Uh, white can play, I think it's here. Is it one more? I forgot what the sequence is. Yeah, play here. <laughs> Oh, maybe, maybe this does work? Did I hallucinate? Oh, white can still, black can still break out this way. So crude. <laughs> oh my god, it's ridiculous. I, I don't know what just happened. I think all these white stones died. Which, would have, which was my goal. Oh man, did I, I screw, I, I messed up. I did terrible reading. Yeah, after I, after I read this ladder, I was like, oh, white white still actually has a good variation, um, as long as he doesn't play if he doesn't play the ladder, he can just net this thing. Um, but no, this net this net is no good, right? Yeah, because black and ha has this Atari, so I missed this Atari. Oh shame, shame. Yeah, so it turns out this move was really good, <laughs> like really really good. So the point where I should just be able to play this and just kill everything here, right? Like that's that's what should because if again if white had the ladder, white this wouldn't be a thing. White white would just ladder me because I have a stone there. It doesn't work. Oh wow, I'm kicking myself now. I should have. Uh, I got I got chick I got chickened out. Like when he started playing this. Oh no, sorry. Say so we went to no no here he didn't play it yet because I I was reading this out and I was like oh this. He can, he can do this net thing and have a fine result. So I was like, I need one more stone. Um, so I play here, thinking, oh, this, this is the stone that'll break through the net. But it's totally not needed. Totally not needed. Now, what do I do next? Oh, right, I push one more, because I'm still like, I don't think, I, I think he can now net again, because he played this one and not this one. Oh, mistakes in reading. I should still just play here, right? Let's see what... Uh... We come up like this. 
this is just broken, like 99.8% win percentage, kind of broken. Um, yeah, anytime black can take, yeah, all right, man, wow, wow, was I terrible. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go be sad now. I was so proud of the sequence that, that the game happened, because I was like, oh man, look at, look at, it, it did, it kind of did the thing I wanted, but, oh, I could have just cut and killed stuff. I hate when that happens. Anyway, I ask here, and then I cut. No, I don't. I cut on this side. <laughs> I'm just looking for more stuff, right? Let, let's 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 get some more stuff for my cutting stone, or that can help my cutting stone. And uh, there's no choice here. Um, black keeps going this way, and then white comes back to kill. Uh, I just make this exchange, and then I net. Yes, and uh, there's actually a problem here that if white doesn't do anything, uh, there is a throw-in. So let's check it out. Here's a throw-in. If white connects the co, um, it's a capturing race two to three. Here, let's take the numbers off so you guys can see how this works. So this is my plan, right? Like, like I can play here, and white needs to fix somehow. Um, right, if white goes and, let's say white's greedy and takes that stone, that's probably uh, what it'll do. There is this co, and white can sort of fight the co, um, but it's a direct co for black. And if black takes it, it's like game over. It's just, look at this thickness. Black owns all these stones in the corner. Um, it's hard for white to even if white's like here. I found a co threat. You're like yeah, whatever. That's that's not good enough. Um, anyway, so in the game, white just fills in the liberty, right? White sees the same co and is like nope, nope. <laughs> Just keep my liberties. It's interesting that the robot wants to play here, though, uh, as the way to defend the co. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I didn't think of that in the game. Yeah, because now look what happens if black throws in. When white takes, this stone defends the uh, the start of the co. That is a pretty cool empty triangle shape. Wow, white can even gain an extra liberty that way. Like, like, white's still sealed in, right? White white has to come back and kill off these stones in the corner, so the corner's a little bit smaller than it looks. And black's thickness is just perfect. So, still a great game for black. And that's pretty similar, actually, to what happened in the game, because um, even when white fills in here, I have to come back and play another move anyway, um, if I don't want white to, to come through and cut. And, yep, robot seems to agree. Uh, that's the best one. And white takes that stone, which is pretty big. Again, when you're at the 98%, you can't really rely on the robot anymore. Um, because there's just a giant Moyo coming into fashion here. Right? Like you guys can see all these black stones. It's easier to see without... Like, there's a lot of points that are going to be happening there. Because um, also, I can... Remember, there's a group over here I can harass. What does it think of my move here? It's on its candidate list. It likes actually just... So it's just like sealing this in a little bit more. Huh. Yeah, okay. It likes just taking all this forcing stuff and then taking this move. Okay. Pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. Alright, so I, anyway, I'm seeing this giant Moyo, so I'm just gonna like, I'm, I'm just gonna build a Moyo. <laughs> That's what I have. Uh, White needs to come back and defend again. And so I play this move. This is the last real way white for, that white can break in. Um, white can't really break... This stone over here looks like white can get in. Um, but it's actually really difficult to. Um, let's say white plays this move. Well, black can just Hane. And you say, ah, white can Hane. Um, and look at the double Atari. No, because this move is forcing against taking back the entire corner and killing all these stones. Because black black eff effectively has a virtual stone right here at any time. Um, so that really limits white's options in terms of how far white can jump in. Um, here, white will actually push through soon enough, so you'll see how far white can get. Uh, so I play here. White takes a couple pushes. Uh, jumps here, and again, I just I'm just like, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna build 40 points. Is that okay? Uh, White's like, no, I want to come in. No, but I can play, again, I can just attach on top, because I have a phantom stone here. And can I just come in? No. Here, how about I run the stone out? Eh, that's okay. You can you can save those two stones. Um, but in the meantime, all this is becoming more and more solidified. Bushes again, that's fine. 
they're going to push in, that's fine. And finally, white just tanukis and is like, hey, there's there's some points down here, I think, in the corner. Um, it's interesting that, um, actually, at this point, yeah, white doesn't, the computer doesn't think that this is no longer the best move, that this is the best move. And I think it has to do with this stone here, is this that now it's time to be a little bit safer. Um, with this stone, there is some risk, right, that black forces white to take out a big corner and black can counterattack this group. Um, if black doesn't have the stone here, before white can sort of run out and find an eye, now much more difficult to do so. So that's a nice little subtle computer analysis thing. Uh, anyway, my opponent was was pretty hip to that, right? He's like, okay, now I'm in danger, now I know I want to play this one, right? I don't want to come into the corner and do something much more dangerous and get attacked here. So that was, I, I, I think that's, that's very... Uh, cool by my opponent, right? He is strong. He can. He's very good at sensing danger, um, right? Like, the entire game, he's kind of... He hasn't really been punished. The, the only two times, right, were this and this. Um, and, you know, I th I, I'll take full credit for playing both those gen obviously genius moves. No, it's more of just, you know, he's, he's very, very balanced, right, in terms of... Um, uh, and, and on a larger scale, right, when there's danger. Um, it just turned out that he, you know, got basically razzled, you know, from these two corners, or top side and corner, and then couldn't find enough points elsewhere. Uh, so anyway, my corner, actually, after this push, this corner is actually quite weak, and I there's a lot of points here, so I invest in it. So I'm like, hey, let's just take some points. Uh, do do Play here, play here. Again, I'm just building this bottom. I'm probably just going to take off the move percentages because I don't think anything really changes. Like, I think I think this just rides, you know, 98% uh, basically to the end of the game. And... Hi, Beckett! My toddler came home. Hi. 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 It's kind of bright over here. I know it's bright. It's really bright. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, so the rest of this is endgame, and it's not uh, terribly interesting. Uh, I mean, in terms of like a game decision, just look right here. This is just this is all you need to know. White doesn't have anything uh, that can compete with the size of this. And, furthermore, black still has a pretty giant corner up here, and a sizable chunk over here. Um, white really has two big territories and two kind of smaller territories, right? This is big, and this is big. Neither, I think, even if you combine both of them, they get about the size of this one. Uh, and that still leaves, you know, black's second biggest territory and this other one. So, uh, you know, we'll play out the rest of this as much as we can. Do, do, do. Uh, white tries to be a little tricky in here, but again, I just seal it in. This is so solid. Uh, we get a little bit of hand fighting over here. We find some nice little shape points. I kind of regret actually not playing again over here. I had an opportunity to, I think, right? Uh, or no, I didn't. Uh, I later, at some point, I remember regretting something. <laughs> oh yeah, playing. I can play. I think here again, like right now. Um, these two stones are not important. So, yeah, I think I think I should have played again right there. Anyway, small thing, things like that. So I come on this side, and I play there, and there, and again, there's this hand fighting kind of thing. But it's all very just pokey and boring and not terribly interesting go. Uh, I mean, we're working really hard, right, trying to play the best end game we can. Um, but when all is said and done, uh, black kind of wins by about two Comey's on the board, and white only has one Comey in the bank, so black wins by about a Comey. Um, you know, we do play it all the way out and count it. Uh, here, let's actually look at the, the win percentage. If I quickly calculate it, you can just see, yeah, it just, it just stays locked, that top uh, part of the graph. So, anyway, it was nice to end on a win. It was really nice to end on a win, and especially to win that um, you know, I, I, I got to play my orthodox opening, I got to uh, form this giant moyo in the middle, you know, it's sort of a brute force, a, a Takamiya game. Um, 
I got, you know, it was again memorable because I got invaded three times in the first 40 moves and they were all very peaceful invasions. Like none of it led to a huge fight. Um, my opponent really only asked for what he was entitled to. Uh, again, he was very safe and cautious in that way. Um, so, you know, at the end of the US Open, I only ended up three and three, but, uh, you know, I was a half point away and just was really one Atari away from becoming four and two. Again, if you guys saw game five. Uh, so I somehow flubbed that. Or sorry, for four, if I become, yeah, for game five, I would have, by half point, would have become four and two. And, uh, you know, it was, it was just a lot of really good go that I really, uh, enjoyed playing, especially since, um, the past year I've been playing mostly, like, 9x9 and 13x13 games, like, on my iPad, just haven't been playing that many serious 19x19 games. So, it was great. Uh, I'll, I'll come back and we'll do another video sometime about my 9x9 championship game. Um, there's a couple other games from the Congress that I, I kind of want to make a video about, but we'll we'll see. Um, I do want to get back to teaching my class fairly soon uh, at the Seattle Go Center, and so I might also have some videos to edit from from the class. So anyway, all in all, it was good. Uh, this will be the official end of the uh, my uh, what am I calling this? The robot uh, my robot overlord series. And you know, thank you guys for sticking it out. I know these games were pretty long and pretty extensive and. Um, you know, covered a lot of things that may or may not relate to, to the shapes and patterns you find in your own games. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's all go, you know, it's all, it's all related. So thanks for watching.